Hi, I'm Corwin, and this is the first Leafs pregame we've had since the All-Star break, so I've had this clip that I've been dying to talk about. And that's Nathan McKinnon asking Austin Matthews how he uses so many damn sticks. See, like, you got all these sticks, bro. Like, I don't know how you change your stick every game. Is that the key to scoring 80? You gotta change your twig every game? Twig every game. Now, if you weren't aware, Austin Matthews changes his stick a lot. In fact, you may have even seen the special custom stick he got just for the All-Star game. And this is actually one of the reasons he ends up changing them so much, because he actually does get a lot of custom sticks. But he's also clearly a bit picky and does still change them otherwise. I use the site Gear Geek to check in on these things sometimes, and last year I actually tracked who changed their sticks the most. Matthews changed his stick nine times last season, which was tied for the third most in the league. The two guys above him? Well, second was Alexander Ovechkin with 12. He's usually up there. And then the first was a bit of a surprise to most people, I think, is Dylan Larkin, who changed his stick 14 times last year. And now I know that surprised some people, but I told Matthews about this at the beginning of the year, and he actually wasn't surprised at all because of an interaction he had with Larkin in one of their games. Yeah, he was using my sticks a couple years ago, too. Yeah. Really? It was, it was, yeah, we were, I was lined up at a draw against him, and I literally saw he had my <laughs> stick in his hand. And I was like, what is going on here? <laughs> Where did you get Yeah, that? that's not allowed. <laughs> that's when you know you've gone through a lot of sticks, when you just start trying other people's. But it's not totally uncommon. This does happen. We even saw Nathan McKinnon checking out Connor Bedard's stick at the All-Star game. But still, you might be wondering, why do they change their sticks so much? Most of the time, it's just a feel thing for these guys. The stick's just feeling a little off. They want to try something new. But a lot of the times, it's associated with some kind of slump. If they're just not feeling at their best, try changing the stick. Which also makes sense why this year's league leader in stick changes is Alexander Ovechkin. He's on pace for career lows, and you remember, Larkin led the league last year with 14 stick changes, and Ovi has already matched that number, and we're barely halfway through the season. Clearly, if the puck isn't going in, they're more likely to change their stick. Which again, Ovi's hit kind of a tear recently, hasn't changed his stick recently. So to go back to Nathan McKinnon's question from the beginning of the segment, is this the secret to scoring 80? I don't think so, because Matthew's stick changes are down and his goals are up.